everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Avery here and today we are back out on the bay for the first time in probably a month or so. I actually have not been out on the bay since bass opener. I was up north in Kenora area at a fishing lodge for a couple weeks and then this past weekend I had a um, uh, summer hockey tournament that I was playing in in Sudbury. Um, but I'm officially home now for the rest of the summer, finally. And um, today I'm going to search for some fish. Gonna look for some, some smallmouth bass because I love smallmouth fishing this time of year uh, because it is the most difficult time of year to smallmouth fish. Uh, so I'm gonna go out there, search for some smallmouth probably on the north shore um, of the bay and see what I can find. Let's get going. Gosh, it's flat calm, it's perfect weather. Hopefully there we'll get some swamp. Okay, so I went to my spot number one where I usually fish. There's this big deep water like rock structure. But my first spot, which usually I do my best at this time of year specifically, it's completely covered with boats like there were eight boats on my one little spot so it's like I don't want to go where the fish are going to be like super pressured I'm just going to use my down imaging regular sonar before I actually start fishing I usually like to stroll this time of year but I'm trying to get out of that I'm trying to use my mega live and basically get on top of the fish I usually stroll with a tube jig, drop shot. I'll also use a big heavy swim bait or um, a little hair jig. That's what I have tied up today. Oh, that's a good suspended fish there. Another fish off this rock here. We know there's fish here. We know there's fish here. Taking off my life jacket. Drop shot. That's what I'm going to start with, I decided. And then I'll switch to a hair jig, maybe. Like that. Like that. Like it. Like it. I literally just saw a fish. There's one there. I'm going to switch from a drop shot. Oh. Oh, is it gonna go eat my hair jig? Tell me it's gonna eat my hair jig. Tell me it's gonna eat my hair jig. Got him. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is good fish. <laughs> yes! Spotlock, stay on. There's a school of big fish here. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Whatever it is, it's a monster. It's not, it's probably a freaking sheep head. Definitely the sheep head. I don't really care. I don't care because this is so exciting. Jeez. Stop moving like that, fish. Just come up. Air jig, sheep head on Mega Live. Woo, it's a tank. Show the other camera. See how big he is? This thing is massive. Not the right species, but you know what? It's a very pleasant surprise. I'm probably gonna catch a whole bunch more of these things because they are in the same smallmouth territory. They love the hair jigs too. You saw how this thing fights. It fights till it's got very little energy left. We don't want to kill him, so what I do is I torpedo him because it gives him the energy he needs to go back down. You got this. Woo! He's alive. He just takes a couple shakes. They're wussy fish. They fight like crazy, and then they wuss out. 
That was fun though. Now I just have to catch a browner version of him. I'm gonna throw my hair jig back down there because I am marking a suspended fish. And he did come like right off bottom. Got him. Another fish. Probably another sheephead, but I don't really care. Mega live sheephead today, guys. On black hair jigs. Freedom taco hair jig. That's a good one. Peel and line. It would be cool if they jumped though. These fish don't jump though. That would exert their energy even more. They just run. All right, he's at the boat. Oh, never mind, he's not at the boat. Almost got him. There we go. Number two. They smell disgusting. They fight like crazy though. Apparently they are pretty good to eat, but they're awesome to catch. Let's unhook him. Torpedoing him. There he goes. There's another one. I'm gonna catch one more and then go look for some smallmouth. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try and show you guys what I'm seeing here. There's a suspended fish. Those are the school of sheephead. I'm gonna put my bait down. And these fish are very aggressive. Already they're going after it. Not in a really great hook sending position right now, but I don't care. I'm gonna try the drop shot. Got him. Got the fish. I got him. Whatever he is, I've got him hooked up on my drop shot. Woo! Look at that drag. Look at that drag. Look at the size of that thing. Woo! It's huge. Woo! This thing is massive. Oh my goodness. Get in here. Get in here. Woo! Oh my lord. Look at the size of this thing. Woo! Big. Well, I did say I wanted a brown fish. This one looks more brown than the last two I caught. But still, not the right color brown. I want a dark brown smallmouth bass. This is massive. Monster. Ew, he's peeing on me. He's pooping and peeing on me. Disgusting. Giant freshwater drum on the drop shot. This guy may very well be my personal best drum. Who knows, I've caught a lot of them over the years. Let's get them back. Three, two, one, rocket launch. Come on fish, go, kick. There he goes, he's fine, I'm sure. I'm sure he's fine. Disgusting, I'm gross, I'm sheephead slimed. I'm gonna keep looking for fish. Let's continue on searching for smallmouth bass in the sheephead infested waters. I'm gonna call this spot Sheephead Shoal. There's fish everywhere here. Like what the heck? Like there's gotta be smallmouth here somewhere. Got him. Oh my gosh. Where are all the smallmouth bass? <laughs> no. This one was so aggressive too. I thought for sure it was a smallmouth. I mean, maybe it is, but it's sure awfully is fought fighting like a sheephead. Just going down and down and not going up. Keeps going down and down and oh my gosh. Ah, come here, come here. Woo! <laughs> Number four, Bobby Orr. Four sheephead of the day. They're eating every 
everything I throw, they're one after the other. The fourth bycatch of the day, torpedo. There he goes. That's legitimately how you have to like put them back in because they will die if you don't. You're probably wondering, Avery, why aren't you just moving to a new spot? I have literally been going along this shore and every single school of fish that I have ever marked, I've caught a sheephead on. And I've literally, oh, marked five schools or four schools of fish. Every single one I've caught a sheephead on. And when I've caught a sheephead, I've moved like spots. And there's another. Oh, why did I miss him again? Oh, he turned around. Got him. Please be a small earth. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, this thing. This thing is crazy. Maybe there's a small one. Nope. It's not jumping now. Woo! They're so fun though. I just want to catch a smallmouth. I haven't caught a smallmouth since opener. That's like a month. Oh wait, that's that's a lie. I caught them up north, but I haven't caught any on the bay. Get over here, get over here, get over here. Oh man, I suck at netting. Like I cannot net fish for the life of me. There we go. I'm considering moving to another shoal. Even though these guys are so fun to catch, I just want to catch a mega live smallmouth on Lake Erie, so. Okay. Slime rocket! That was not a good launch. I'm sorry, fish. He's okay. That was more like a belly flop than a torpedo. Okay. Let's continue moving along the shoal. Got him. Oh, no way. There's no way. This is another drum. There's no way. I'm moving. I'm moving spots. I'm legitimately moving spots. Yeehaw! There we go. So I can't keep my tube in the water for more than five seconds because these freshwater drum are taking it away from the possible smallmouth bass. It's just sheephead after sheephead. Torpedo. Stupid bycatch, stupid drum, stupid waves. Go away, waves. It's gonna make me hard to use Mega Live. I might have to drift soon because it's literally white caps right now. I'm on speed 10 and I'm barely moving. Got him. Be a smallmouth. Be a smallmouth. Please be a smallmouth. Nope, it's not. <laughs> what the heck? I'm moving spots after this. Oh, but it's. Oh, it's got some head shakes going. Usually, they don't do head shakes. Sheephead. Nope, sheephead. There we go. Woo! Lucky number seven. There we go. Lucky number seven, sheephead. Number seven, like, I really thought this one was gonna be a smallmouth. How he hit, how he was shaking his head, and then he just decided to dive down on me. It's getting pretty wavy here. All I'm catching are these big freshwater drum. I could catch these things all day, but it's not my target species. This video pretty much is a sheep head video now, but they're pretty awesome to catch. Torpedo. Woo, it's getting windy. Okay, I'm gonna use the gas motor. I'm gonna move slow because it is getting windy. And I'm going to head to the original spot that I was in. This mega live searching for the fish is really efficient. Maybe even more so than strolling because I have gotten on top of the fish and I have switched up baits, figuring out what they wanted so far. They've mostly wanted a bit of everything, but I've caught 
I think most of them on the tube. Uh, so we know the tube's working the best today. Um, anyways, let's get to the spot. because I don't want to get wet. I didn't pack for rain. I packed for sunshine. I should have come out earlier, but I was stupid and I slept in. And now I'm not going to catch any smallmouths. All right, unfortunately, I have to pack up before I get caught in the rain. The weather changes so quickly on Lake Erie. It's crazy. It was nice and calm this morning. And now, it's windy and it's gonna rain any second. As you can see, there's a big rain cloud behind me, so let's get going. All right, guys, well, that is officially it. Unfortunately, the weather changed like crazy. It was a pretty awesome morning on the water, though. I caught seven sheephead, no smallmouth, which was my target species. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. Now I need to get going before I get rained on.